Hey guys, and welcome back to Grounds Family Farm. Today, Abby and I are outside and we're about to go tackle some chores and also figured we'd give you an update on how everybody's doing, especially those new goats that have pink eye. Um, let you see how everybody's working out. <laughs> Louie. And Louie's here with us. Little spoiled rotten thing. Damn. Trying to get some more attention, apparently. He loves being held. He keeps trying to go in the house every time the door is open. Had to get him about halfway from the door to Abby's room earlier while she was still sleeping this morning. But let's go get started and see who all we can see. Hey guys. Hey everybody. Hi. Here. There. Spill my little bit of feet out. There. Hungry. Okay. A little bit more. Rascal. You make me a little too nervous, dude. Okay. Let's go. Hey, buddy. Big feed pan full. Hey, cinnamon. Oh, goodness. Let's get all these feed pans done. Feed y'all in a minute. Doggies, doggies, doggies. Lizzie, cinnamon. Let's get y'all's food bowls filled up. Puppy pups. Ready? I have lizard. Cinnamon. There we go. All right. So Abby handed me my phone so I could video a little bit more up a little closer these girls are definitely getting lots of feed I check them all and then that girl's getting super sweet hi brownie oh look at cinnamon she loves her girls yep Lizard, you got anything to say, buddy? You're so sweet. We'll talk to you when you're done eating, okay? Hi, Cinnamon. Here's all these guys. White sheep are starting to kind of get their winter coat back, but there's no way I'm going to be able to grab them and touch them to see how thick that is. Hi, Sheepster. Hi, girly. You looking pretty. You looking pretty. Yeah. Hard to say if she might be pregnant or not, but she's gotten wide, but she loves the feed too, so we'll see. What are we doing? Hey, y'all be nice. Play nice. There's plenty of feed for everybody. Because nobody's even touched that last feed pan of mine. Hey, no. No, sir. This guy, I'm not too sure about sometimes. Because he likes to get a little bit rowdy, especially with me. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, sir. Okay. While he is distracted, I am getting out. Because I am not a big fan of that behavior. I don't like it. Rascal, shame on you. We don't act that way. I know you're just feeling a little wild right now, but you can't do that to me. You can't do that. That head button thing is not okay with me. Guys, there's a whole another feed pan up here. Yeah, right over here. But yeah, that's that's my biggest concern. Like when I'm coming in the pen, I get a little nervous. Hey. Did y'all seriously eat all the other feed pans and save this one for last? I'm out to there. I know that's not ideal, but at least y'all aren't gonna fight over it so bad. Spread it out some and then now there's a bigger area and y'all won't be fighting. I'd much rather have that happen. 
But yeah, as far as Rascal, Rascal goes, I don't know. We're just going to have to watch him because we are not going to have an aggressive animal here. But I know he's probably just messing with them. Hey, Cinnamon, leave them alone. They're not playing right now. She likes to, when she starts yipping and barking at them, she's playing with them, she thinks. But she doesn't realize that they don't really like to be played with when they're eating, so. Hi, Rosie Posey. Hi. What are we doing? Hi, girl. What's up? Hey, Brownie. Oh, you're pretty and sweet. Snowflake, snowflake. That is not necessary, dear. That is totally not necessary. You have had plenty to eat, so there's no point in fighting over it. And it's all spread out on the ground now. Because I've put it in a little pile and you kind of strode it. But it is fine. But yeah, we'll just kind of have to see how things play out with this guy. Because I don't want to have to worry about him knocking me down in this pen. Because I it has already happened before. And now I do have to... If I see he's getting aggressive, I try to guide him gently toward the feed. That way he doesn't knock me over. But that's kind of a problem. He's my problem child sometimes. He's really sweet other times. Like, look at this. He loves being loved on. But he also likes picking fights. So we shall see. He's really, really great to have out here with the other animals, though, because he does... He does watch out for all of the sheep and actually all the goats. So that's one good thing about him. But we'll keep you posted on how things turn out with him. And look at these baby boys. Hi, sweet boys. Y'all are so handsome. Y'all are really, really handsome. I love it. I love how much you're grown. And they're super friendly too. <laughs> But I guess we're going to come over here and feed the new ones because they are hollering and they are ready to eat. Okay, so now that these guys are fed, we're going to go ahead and fill up a well, small bucket for the new ones. And I'll take you over here and show you how they're doing. I guess my help has abandoned me because, I don't know, I can't find Abby. Okay, here's the feed. <laughs> You're funny. All right, let's put... Yeah, you're silly. Can you put biscuits in there for me? Yeah, she's... It's... The bucket's empty enough to where she can actually climb down in it, so... All right, come on out. That's enough. That's enough for, for them. We don't want to overfeed them. Oh, you got to feed them. Yeah, we've got chickens out. I have to figure that one out, but... Yeah, we always have cats out, though. Okay, so we're gonna come over here and feed these guys in this pen. Um, yeah, we probably ought to go in. Oh, hi, Cookie. Cookie, you know we got food. Check your collar, yeah, it's not too tight. All right, go put some in the feed pan and some in that other thing over there. Yeah, and we may not need all that feed. If we don't, we'll dump some over to Lily. We're out for the chickens just on the ground. Cause we do have some chickens roaming around that just like to hang out. Mostly hens for whatever reason, but yeah, just, Hey, just dump it out on the, just throw it out for them. Cause the chickens will, yeah, the chickens will come up and eat. <laughs> Look at that goat. She's like, I don't really know what to make of you. Sometimes. All right. So as far as the goat's eyes go, of course, you know, cookie, and sparkles, we didn't have to worry about mama goat. I'm trying to get her up. Baby, I'm not doing anything with your eyes. I know you don't like it. But she has one eye that is completely dark now. So I really am thinking that we at least suffered some of a loss of vision. Not real sure. Not really sure about that. But one eye is completely clear. The other one is not. Um, or at least mostly not. It does have some white on it around it, but then it's mostly black. So with a kind of a white center. So I don't know what that means at all, but the pink eye has cleared up on all three, all three of the goats. So that's a really, really good thing. 
Where's the other baby? There's one. Oh. Hi. You heard me asking about you. They are beautiful and they are into everything. They hang out with Lily over there in the pig pen. And they like to come over and just hang out by the feed bin, the feed barrels whenever you're going to fill up feed. Oh, mama goat's eating out of her hand. She's a really sweet goat. Cookie, you're com becoming a fat thing. You're becoming a little fat thing. You like love some food. Sparkles, we're not friendly yet, but we definitely need, definitely are getting better because I mean, at least she's letting me sit there and watch her. She didn't used to let me do that, so. And there's our escape artist here. Just coming over and eating loose feed. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi, Fred. What are you doing? Uh, yeah. It's awesome they squatted down to the ground. Hi, baby. Do we need to get out of here so you'll come eat? Probably. You were just eating with the pigs, though. Goofy thing. But yeah, so that's how they're doing. Pink Eye is gone, officially. Uh, we're still not quite ready to move them in with the others yet. We're going to kind of see, you know, if anything progresses with her eye at all before we do that. And then just make sure it's all good. But we may try to do something where we let where we go ahead and wean the babies too, because they are definitely old enough to wean. It's just if we're ready to do it right now or if we're going to wait just a little bit longer. So that's that. And like I said, she's still getting, mama's still getting around really well, still can do everything she needs to do. So, I mean, we're still really happy that we got her, but it's just crazy that she's not even the first one who had pink eye. It was the babies. And she's the one who had more vision issues. So I don't know if it's something to do with the fact that, that she, they are so much younger and just maybe more resilient. Or if she just had it that bad. I guess we'll see. But it doesn't really matter. Like I said, we're still happy with them. And still really, really happy that we got her. Because she is a good looking mama. And she's a great mama to the babies. So... All right, I think we're going to go down here and take care of the rest of the guys because they are sitting there hollering. Okay, now we're going to go and feed these guys. They are, well, <laughs> Betty's foaming at the mouth. She's so hungry. Hi, Spice. Why are we so especially hungry today? I'm like, we haven't eaten in a week. Just fed you yesterday, so, you know. I don't know why Hulk is standing in the feeder. It's being ridiculous, though. Yeah, I don't understand that. I'm going to go ahead and dump, scoop out some feed for the emus and for Daisy. And then after that, we'll talk to everybody a little bit more. But Hulk, I really don't like how you're up in that. Because nobody else can eat around, you know, anywhere except around you. And I can't fill in that middle spot. But it'll be fine. Hi, Betty. You happy now? What? I got treat for Daisy. I got treat for Daisy. Daisy. Yeah. Hi, Spice Girl. Oh, yeah, she likes it. That got the emus to stop fighting, so I will actually fill up their feeder in a few minutes, but I wanted to go ahead and break up that little tussle they were having. We have not, we've actually been on the lookout for emu eggs lately because they should be at least close to where they're laying, of their age at least, but they have not laid any that we found so far. 
and we've been checking every couple of days so it may just be that they are a little too young and it may be next year before they do we were really hoping they would this year but who knows it's just not not the right time yet i know they're moody as i'll get out though hey guys y'all enjoying your feed look at pancakes she has got a belly oh and so does penelope but penelope's got some hair it is thick can't believe how thick it is just crazy putting on a thick thick coat hey precious he's like i am not worried about you right now i like my food And their short stack. Hey, sweet buddy. Hey, Comet. Hey, dude. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's loving these leaves that she picked. I actually have leaves to pull now from the grass because um, we finally have grass again, which is really nice. You are so sweet. So, so sweet. I think we better go check on Daisy and Spock really quick and go ahead and fill up the emu feeder just because once these guys are done, they're going to come try to steal all the emus feed and they'll be bugging us too. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that and let you see how the little guy's doing. <laughs> She's making herself known, making it known that she is hungry and we need to bring some feed. Gotta get in this gate though. Every time I'm down here, I forget to bring the zip ties. So, try to remember that a little bit later today. Because I gotta come back out of here in a little while. Take care of some stuff. Amy, back up. Yes, I know, I know you're hungry. Because I'm not always in a sharing mood with y'all. Hi, babies. Do they like it? Okay. Well, that's the main thing because he's still nursing, so he got he'll he's getting plenty of nutrients. All right, they're happy now. Shouldn't be too much to where the others try to come steal it. So let's go feed her real quick. Hey, mama. Yeah, I forget you don't actually use the gate. You just climb so let me undo this real quick i haven't been out here personally in a couple of days because kevin and the girls have been taking care of the chores while i was working on other stuff in the house i need to come shovel this stall out don't i or this you know a little bit and as usual there's her pellets that she doesn't really care for Dump them out. And now we're ready for more feed. There we go. So we did go with a taller waterer for them. And good news, it's really been working. She's been able, we've been able to keep it full and not have to worry about it, that it's getting empty three or four times a day. So that's really nice. And look at this little guy. What are you thinking about? Hey buddy. You're so handsome and growing. You are growing so fast, bud. Yeah, he is precious and he is so gentle. He loves people. Looks like his mama. He's doing great. Always. Always pretty happy, too. Hey, Mama. Hey, girl, hey. I know, I'm so happy to see you. And let's see if I can get an angle of her face. Look at that. It has one spot that still has a scab on it. The rest of it is completely healed up and looks amazing. So. I would say that our little treatment of her worked. 
and she's gonna be just fine. Which is really, really reassuring. <laughs> Hi, buddy. What are you doing? That one. You wanted mama to turn? <laughs> They're still happy out here. We're still working on what kind of configuration we think we might want for whenever we you know, give them more of an area to run. He is, and we finally figured out how he's getting out of this pen. He is going <gasps> underneath this bottom one Ow. kevin actually watched him yesterday Ow. slide underneath the pin <laughs> run around you know just like making laps going crazy and then that. crawled underneath it again so i guess he's is he like sliding under on his belly i don't know that's wild <laughs> but we are so in love with this little guy um, i mean who wouldn't be though he's I so precious know. he's getting heavy though because Trying to pick him up now is not as easy as it once was. But that's good. That means you're growing. That means you're growing, little Spock. She's in her happy place getting some food. She is loving that feed. As long as it's not the big pellets. She just picks through and leaves the big pellets. And then I dump those out for the emus or pigs. Which is fine because that works out. But it's so crazy how she has such a preference on everything except those big pellets what are you doing you exploring it's crazy to me how much he loves being loved on though because you know some baby animals they're a little skittish and just not real excited about getting touched too much or whatever but he will actually willingly come up to us yeah even when he was a baby so just in his nature, I guess, and he's got a really great temperament. Mm -hmm. Hi, bud. Yeah, you like it. Oh, you like your ears being touched. He's touching me with his ears. He's got the prettiest little ears, though. And I, I just, I haven't really noticed, but his till now but his legs are like actually darker than the rest of his body yeah you are pretty mm -hmm. you are pretty who's behind me no oh, sparkles and in here <laughs> we have a cat named sparkles and a goat named sparkles that one's fine. this and one is fluffy that's we have fluffy. fluffy and puffy fluffy and puffy and then like, what are these little creatures? <laughs> they all come to see you all the time, though. It's like all the babies got to hang together. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I thought I was stepping on a cat. It's just a weed. All right, Mama. You are so sweet and so good. We're going to put a little bit more straw here probably in the next few days because they kind of wallered it around and some of it's pushed out from underneath and right here it's all piled up so we'll put some fresh stuff out there out here and bring her some hay and i know she's gonna love that but kevin's got to help me with the hay so we'll have to do that a little bit later when we have all of us here together because he is working today and i'm actually off mm, sweet girl you are so sweet. All right. Well, I guess we're going to get on out of here. Let Leave her alone. That way she can actually enjoy her food in peace. And we're going to go check up on some of the other animals. Sound good? Yeah. Well, these guys know that it is time to eat. And as usual, we have all of our little rogues out here that like to fly out of the pen. Oh, that's not on. Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it was on. It's not functioning the way it should, obviously. Kevin already said that he was going to try to work on that pretty soon. Here. Okay. Throw it way over. It's off. It's off. Okay. Do you want some over here for them? No, we're going to get them in. No, let's get them in. All right. All right. So. Yep. Walk them in, Abs. Walk them in. 
<laughs> hey guys. She's gonna walk them in again. Some of them are not really the brightest. Okay, it's fine, get these in, walk them in. It's all good. All right, so couldn't have done it without Abby, but we got all, almost all the chickens in. There's still a few out and there will be more out tomorrow um, until we get this fence straightened back out. And um, until I figure out, we figure out what the problem with the electric fence is, it's definitely not shocking as much as it should. So I guess we need to figure that out pretty quickly. Right now, everything's been doing good being in here. And it, for the most part, they go back in at night. So it's not a huge issue, but it's kind of frustrating sometimes to have to go ahead and, you know, put them up every single time you come out here to feed. But they are looking great. And it is so wonderful after everything we went through with those wild dogs to actually see chickens out here and such beautiful ones at that. Cause they are honestly very, very pretty. Hey Abs, can you turn that fence back off? We got one more that's trying to come in. Well, that was the last holdout for the ones that were out here. She just had gone off like she was going to the pasture and I wasn't gonna fight her because I didn't feel like chasing her today, but she's back in too. And like I said, these guys are happy and healthy and living their best life out here. So we were leaving the chicken area and I happened to look over in the pasture and the cows are actually semi-close, but they looked really pretty out there. So I wanted to show you how they're doing and what we can see from here. Look at that pretty green grass and look at those, look at those cows. Hey guys, I know you see me. I know you see me. What are we doing? What are we doing? They are just, they're super close, but they can't get to me from here because there's a couple of gates between us and all that good stuff, but they're kind of close. So I thought I'd just share that with you because they are looking beautiful out there today. As always, love getting to look out and see the cows. Hi everybody. Hey Cinnamon. What? Are you talking to me? Hi, dear blizzard. Hi, cinnamon baby. What? You been rolling in the hay? Yeah. Y'all had hay all over y'all. Y'all are so silly. Figured I'd come back over here and say hi to y'all because. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Blizzard, really. Nobody can see cinnamon when you're all over me. Mm. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, rascal. Hi, buddy boy. Are we going to play nice now? Are we going to play nice now? See, this guy, he loves coming up and he loves getting loves. Um, that's why That's why I don't think that he's actually trying to be aggressive when he's coming at me like that. I think he just thinks that he's playing. He just doesn't know that that's not okay. Because he's a young ram and... And that's what those guys do. Did you see that? She just let me pet her. She came over here to get petted. Rascal buddy. Are you trying to find an opening so I can come love on you too? Yeah. Don't pull my sweatshirt. Don't pull my sweatshirt. Yeah, are you and I going to come to a better understanding? You can play with, you can play with Blizzard. Hey, get off of him, Blizzard. You're trying to say no, 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 no. Give me attention, not him. These two like to play a little bit rough. And that's okay for y'all to play rough, just not with me, okay? Okay? Yeah. Scratching behind the ears. Oh, you like that? Hey, y'all. I'm allowed to give somebody else attention other than just y'all. Hi, Snowflake. No, I don't let feed. Because, no, I know you don't, you don't like gloves. She's not a lovey, she's not a lovey-dovey little thing. Oh, look at that. They're so sweet. Y'all are precious together. <laughs> really? And this makes it all, this makes everything better whenever, like, I'm out here and he comes up and just comes to be loved on. That makes me feel, feel better and makes me know that he is not trying to be aggressive. He's not trying to hurt me. He just, he loves attention and he wants to be played with. 
Don't you, buddy? He wants, he wants us to play with him. But we can't play like that. See, you'll have to play with the others. Okay? You'll just have to play with the others. Because you're too big for that. Hey, Blizzard. Blizzard, come here. Blizzard, come here. Leave him alone. Hey. Hey. Yes, good boy. Good boy coming to me. He's learning commands a little bit better, too. Because he was getting to where he didn't want to listen very good. So Went through that puppy stage, but he's doing better. And she's doing good, too. If she gets a little too rambunctious or wound up and you holler her name, she'll stop. Yeah. Look what sweet friends these are. <laughs> hey, goody goat. Hi, baby girl. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to have to leave y'all alone. I just saw y'all over here close to the pen, and I wanted to come say hi. And Rascal made me feel so much better already. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We enjoyed getting to take you around and kind of update you on how everybody's doing and how the goats are doing. I'm so glad that we have finally gotten rid of that pink eye. I mean, that really was a problem for a long time. And I mean, it's been a while since we came back from the auction, I guess over a month. So it's, it's about time. It needed to be cleared up. And I don't really know what we're gonna do about Rascal. He's just, he's, I think he's just young and just rambunctious and trying to play, but gotta figure out how to tell him that that's not how we play because we're not gonna allow any of the animals to kind of push us or the kids or anything around. So we'll figure it out and we'll get him calmed back down. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we will catch you next time at Grounds Family Farm. Bye guys. Bye. Peace.